Hello friends, welcome to my channel, myself Ananda, and today we are going to explore mules of cloud of 2.0 shared space, public endpoint, HTTPS listener, and we'll see last mile security. So let's go to any point platform. So this is my trial account, any point platform, and I have already deployed one application to do uh, pro give the demonstration of last mile security and uh, let's first test this application whether it is working properly or not so if i click this url it is giving me the response desired response so the application is up and running so now let's go to this ingress tab so first we'll start with the public endpoint. So basically what I want to show you that how this public endpoint constructed. So uh, I, I means the what kind of nomenclature uh, any point, sorry, Cloud Hub 2.0 is following. So this test-ch2 is my application name. Then it is appending one six digit in unique number starting from 5M and ending at N7. And this unique number, actually, every time you deploy an application on Cloud Hub 2.0, uh, every, for every application, Cloud Hub 2.0 will assign or append one unique number. With that, it will ensure that your application remain unique or your application name remain unique across the Cloud Hub 2.0. And then there is another six digit number which is specific to this shared space. So every shared and private space, Cloud Hub 2.0 mention, I mean, maintain a unique number. And then the region, my, my Cloud Hub 2.0 is at USA E2, which is Ohio. And this is the default region. And in trial version, that is the only region available. And then it will be appended with Cloud Hub.io. So that's how the public endpoint will be constructed. Now, before moving to uh, explore this last mile security feature, what we need to do, we need to deploy the application, uh, this particular application, test-ch2, uh, with a HTTPS listener. Instead of a HTTP listener, we need to put a HTTPS listener and then I will explain you what does last mile security means and then we'll see how it works. So well, let's move to any point studio and here is my very simple application for demo purpose. I'm going to the listener and let's go to the connector configuration. So here what I have to do, I have to change the protocol to HTTPS and then I have to set up this TLS. So for that, I'm going to use a self-certified, uh, self-signed certification certificate. And to create that JKS, I need to use two command. So let me show you that command. So here are the two command, key tool command with which I will generate the JKS and then I will export a certificate into that JKS. So one uh, thing you need to remember that when you are going to create use the key tool, so in the this command prompt, I'm going to execute these two command, but this JDK is JDK8. So remember this thing, if you are creating a JKS for your MuleSoft application, don't use any other version than JDK8, because if you are not using JDK8, then it, it will give you a error at the time of deployment because MuleSoft application cannot read uh, the JKS file created with any other version than JDK8. So with that, let's do this, fire this comment. Let me copy this. And then actually it is already, I think I have already, okay, so this is the comment. Uh, which I already earlier also tried. So that command is already there. So let me fire it and it will ask for a password. Then again, it will confirm for the password. So I'm giving the password as mule123. And then it will ask first and last name. So this, these questions will come. You can uh, put some answer or you can just... Uh, leave it blank so i'm just put my first and last name and 
then it's asking for the organizational unit. So let me put it as take by, and then it will ask for the organization. I'm putting it as take by. I don't, I can skip all these questions, but still I am doing this just to show you. And then the name and state of the province I can put my state and then the two, I mean, I will put nine one. And so this is asking me that whether all this information are correctly provided or not. I'm providing yes. Now it is creating the uh, uh, J case. Now it's asking me that whether uh, key password will be the same as the key store password. So I will simply put enter. That means both the password will be same. So both key password and key store password will be uh, mule one dot oh, sorry mule one two three. So once it is done, I can go to. So if you see that I have set this path. So here my key store is getting going to get created. So I have a folder for demo key store. So here the JK has got created. Now I will export the certificate also. So let me export it. So I will uh, execute this comment. Again, this comment is already there. So yeah, so this export comment I will add. Okay, so this is saying that key store file does not exist. I think I have given the wrong path name. Let me take it from here again. And let me paste it. So now try it out. I have to give the password. And it has created the certificate also. I have exported the certificate. So if you see now I have the certificate as well as the JKS. So I have to take this JKS and then you just copy this JKS and then I will go to my project. We cancel it out and inside to project, I will uh, paste it. So actually earlier it was there. So let me delete it first. And now I will paste the new JKS file. Okay, so now I will configure the listener. I will just edit it instead of HTTP. Now I will put HTTPS. 8081 is still okay because I'm first going to test it on local. Uh, now I'm going to TLS um, to edit in line. Trust store, I'm not doing anything. So key store. I'm going to mention it as JKS, type is JKS, and then I will, uh, path, I will give the same path because it's already in under source main resources. So if I put the file name only, it can access. So it will be my key store dot JKS. And then I will provide the password. So password is mule123. I can do a show password and see that I've given it properly. Then the password is mule because I have used uh, JKS password and key, pass key password are same. That's the way I, how I configured it. And that's it. Now, one thing is that if I have to test it, okay, let me first complete the configuration. Let me confirm that everything is done correctly. I am just, I just clicked OK. So now I will save it. And now I want to locally deploy it. Stop this and deploy it once again. So I just want to, before I go for the deployment, I want to see that this HTTP to HTTPS listener what I have changed now, this application is working on HTTPS properly or not. So, okay. So now it is deployed. I will go to a tab and I will put HTTPS. Okay. 
and enter. Okay, now it is asking that your connection is not private, but since it is self signed, I can proceed to localhost and it will show me the uh, means. I just say that okay, I still want to proceed and then it is showing me the desired response. That means locally it is working. Now I am going to deploy the code on cloud. So one thing you remember earlier video also I discussed this that in uh, cloud hub 2.0 you can if both http and https are listening on port 8081 now suppose you can deploy this api or application on cloud hub 1.0 you can deploy it on cloud hub 2.0 also but if you want to deploy it on cloud hub 1.0 you have to deploy it on 8082 but if you de are deploying it on cloud hub 2.0 then it, you have to change the port 8 and make it 8081. So a little bit tedious task, right? So to avoid that, what you can do, instead of using any port number hard-coded, you just put it as https.port, which is a reserved variable uh, for Cloud Hub. And if you do that, then when you deploy, Cloud Hub will uh, replace this https.port with 8081 for cloud hub 2.0 or it will replace with 8082 if you are deploying on cloud hub 1.0 so you need not to bother about whether it the port will be 8082 or 8081 so i will going to i'm going to deploy this application setting this port at https.port and this is a reserved variable because i am not using any property file or anywhere else i am not defining it I am just mentioning this variable. It will work uh, when I will deploy the code on Cloud Hub. Uh, I am supposed to uh, supposed to not to get any issue because of this. It will it will be just Cloud Hub will automatically replace this HTTPS port with 8081 for Cloud Hub 2.0 deployment. Okay, so with that I am just confirm uh, this and I just save all. Okay, so now I am good to go. What I will do, I will export it for demo purpose. I am doing deployment in this way. Uh, okay, so let me finish and I am again creating the jar file in the same location where I'm, I used to keep all my jar files in my local machine. Okay, so it's done. Now what I will do, I will go here and i will choose the file once again upload the file so now i will upload it from i mean i will <coughs> upload the latest change okay i will apply the changes okay so while it is getting applied this change is getting applied let us see what is last mile security so if you see in this diagram, we have the request is flowing from outside world or public network or from user to ingress load balancer. And then ingress load balancer in turn sending the request to MuleSoft application. So your MuleSoft application, if it is listening on HTTP listener, then the traffic will supposed to go from ingress load balancer to application on HTTP. If your application is listening on HTTPS, then it is traffic supposed to go on HTTPS. Now, since HTTPS is the secure transport uh, protocol, so that means if your application, so your application here is also listening on HTTPS and your ingress load balancer, as we know that Cloud Hub 2.0, it will automatically expose the uh, public endpoint on HTTPS. So that is also listening on HTTPS. So this is also HTTPS and this is also HTTPS. So that means outside world to ingress traffic is going on HTTPS and ingress load balancer also need to send the traffic on HTTPS to your inner internal I mean, cloud application uh, which is deployed on Cloud Hub 2.0. So that means it's end to end HTTPS which means this is what we called as last mile security. So this last mile between load balancer to application, this last uh, 
uh, what should I say? I mean, let's say last mile. So this is the last mile or the last part of the traffic or last path that the traffic needs to traverse. That is also secured with HTTPS. And that's what we call as in terms of um, technical terms, people often refer it as last mile security. So with that, let's let us move to again uh, any point studio uh, sorry any point platform runtime manager i hope it is got deployed so desired configuration applied successfully now if you if i go to ingress you can see i did not select this last mile security so if i am not selecting last mile security what my ingress will do it will get the request uh, on https because of this public endpoint but it will try to send that in uh, request message or incoming traffic to my application to my actual application over http and since i have deployed this particular uh, application test hyphen ch2 on https listener ideally this time i should get an error so let's test it so let me take this url or let me click on this automatically it will open it. okay and now append it with the base path sorry so keep the base path at test ch see it's not working because my ingress is trying to send the traffic on http protocol but my application actual application is actually listening on https protocol so what I need to do, I need to select the last mile security and I need to again apply the changes. So once the changes applied, uh, then we will again try and this time it should work. So while it is getting applied, uh, let me pause the recording. We'll come back once it is done. Okay, so now my uh, changes got applied. Uh, and I can go ahead and see that if now my end-to-end uh, -end connection or not connection means if I am going, I'm, I'm getting a proper response from my application, which is actually listening on HTTPS connector and deployed on cloud of 2.0 shared space. So you see now I have, I have selected this last file security which means as I mentioned that it will load ingress load balancer will receive the traffic on HTTPS and it will send the traffic to uh, down the line application on HTTPS only. So let me click this once again and let me add the base part as test.chs, this is the thing. Okay, so now it sent me the giving me the proper response. That means my last mile, I have applied last mile security and now everything is working properly. So that's it for this video. I think uh, this video is helpful for you guys. And uh, please do uh, like, subscribe and share if you like this video. Thank you for being with me and thanks for all your encouragement and support. Very soon, I will come with one new video on MuleSoft or any other technical topic. Okay. Thanks a lot. Bye.